Hello everyone, this is Mega Hunter, and today we have a special um, Yomi game that I'm finally casting. No, you know, I've been doing no commentary, just recording my own match for so long, I haven't really properly casted. But here, here we are. Right now there's a, yeah, there's a solo showdown going on, just a solo showdown tournament going on. And that's a tournament where you choose one character, um, to use the whole tournament and his character locked. So obviously, wait, this is counterfeit cake. Hello, wait, is this counterfeit cake? Oh, it is counterfeit cake. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, so this isn't solo showdown. This is counterfeit cake. And counterfeit cake, you um choose which side of the matchup. Both character, I mean, yeah, all players choose a character, and then um one player decides which side of the matchup they want to play. Well, the first first player um, sets a handicap, a life handicap, um, or yeah, they set a life handicap, and the other player chooses which side of the matchup they want to play. So, nope, the bard basically. Let's see, yeah, Ivan's character was Setsuki. Nope, the bard's character is Rook. Okay, so Ivan got to pick with a handicap. Okay, so there's no handicap set. Yeah, there's no handicap set, and Ivan chose the rook side to match up. Yeah, sorry for the initial confusion. Long tournament, I guess. Wait, is my audio messing up? No, it's working. Okay, good. So probably we see two windmill crushers just you know eradicate thirty HP from Setsuki's life total. That's pretty good. Baits out the queen too to undercut um what's Rook's a Wall of Vines, there we go. Wall of Vines is at 0 0.8 speed, so Nimpo Flash would undercut it. Ooh, nice 2 attack. But can he dump off of this? That's the question. 2, 3, 4, Q. It's an okay combo. Gets an ace out of it. Question is, will Ivan Rock Armor here? Rock Armoring will have to spend... No, he doesn't. He'll just spend two diamonds in order to rock armor true attacks. Pretty card intensive passive, but it gets the job done. And it's one thing to deal with when Rook has full hand. Quite scary actually to deal with rock armor. Okay, so. Wow, foots, footsies. Foozies, footsies. Undercuts the six out of all things. That's pretty interesting. And he gets a. Yeah, that's a high damage straight. The optimal straight will obviously be six, seven, eight, but you know, five, six, seven is very fine as well. Gets an ace from his deck. So now Ivan's juiced up with triple aces. He might even have CMB here, and might just go for it. We'll see. Nah. Gets off the stone wall. Triple fives, by the way. Great smoke bomb. Able to ignore the... I just want... One thing Setsuki has going for this matchup, for sure, is... Smoke Bomb being able to counter Rook's special blocks. Notobar will have to find some way to dump from his cheat card hand. Wow. Gets to 5 attack off. Ivan um, tried to catch a dodge to avoid wall vines, but no fear. No fear from Notobar's part. Oh, he, he didn't get to dump. He got normal draw. You only get a tack on a J onto it. Unlucky. 
So, nope, still has to find a way out of his hand. This could be, could this be death here? No, it's not possible. No, it's not possible for him to kill here. The max damage off of a J for Rook would be J78, I think. Yeah, J78 would be the max, and that would be 19. So, I wouldn't be able to kill. Put 7QJ, bag of tricks. Nice. Much harder. The optimal um, bag of tricks pickup usually is 7QK because K allows you to dump from a throw as well as, you know, dumping off a Q, obviously. But fortunately for him, it's not, you know, going to be that easy. He didn't, he didn't have a K to begin with. And this could very well be death. The 10 attack is basically a face-up rock armor. Yep. Well played by Ivan. Yeah, that's what makes rock armor so good. It's the um, only way to stop rock armor is just to blodge or play aces. Okay, so Nope the Bard sets the handicap of minus 10 HP to Rook. And now Ivan gets to decide which side matchup he wants to play. Ivan's content with sticking to Rook. So now it's 90 HP Rook versus 70 HP Setsuki. Good start for Nope. Yeah, grapplers. Um, the nice thing about grapplers versus Setsuki is it's hard to contest Setsuki when you don't have um, because Setsuki usually against ab middling average characters with average speeds. Setsuki just dominates the RPS triangle because she has 0.2 speed throws, a 0, 0.0 speed starter. She's just really freaking fast. But grapplers at least get to contest the troll, the large side of the RPS triangle because the grappler is obviously at the fastest throws around. Seski has a fast attack, and that's it. Oh yeah, and that was a casual 30 damage combo into dump. That's pretty strong. Blocks the nimple flash though. So 60 HP rook versus 70 HP Setsuki. Rook's damage is very efficient. So. Oh yeah, Caroline just messaged me, no penalty was called for game one earlier. So I even was smart to pick Rook for game one. I think Rook, no handicap Rook versus no handicap Setsuki is probably, it's probably 5.5 Rook, but small. Oh! Well, two Silent Aces would do it. Two Silent Aces would indeed do it. That's another scary element of Rook. Much like, um, much like partially silent Max Anarchy, it's hard to play around. It's a, it's a partial choice, but yeah, two aces is an indicator. Yeah, usually Rook doesn't like to power for aces unless, you know, he's hand, Max Hand or, you know, he is CMB, much like what happened just now. Wow, ballsy. Um, big 8 normal. Probably one for max, um, max reward. Mm. Oh yeah? yeah? Yeah, I was about to... He couldn't dump with... Uh, he could dump with K attack, but... I guess he wanted to stop rock armor attempts, so he used the Starlight Tumbler side of it. Smart move. Can't dump, but at least it stopped the rock armor attempt. That's another thing Seski has going for his matchup. Yeah, the two things he has going is the counters for special blocks and Starlight Tumbler being able to stop rock armor because other than ace attacks, 
um, knockdown also stops his armor. Master Blaster with the tough questions. Yeah, I mean, I think Yomi would be a lot better if he could dodge it to massive supers. But... Yeah, well, then it would be an actual choice. I think it's good game design to make supers a choice to die to. Instead of being hit comfortable, you have a point there, MD. Especially big supers. I think the small supers, you know, that don't chain us red dragon, they get the pump aces do, that's fine. But like 45 damage burst, that's three aces for grave or 50 damage for four aces that's a bit extreme that you can dodge to those a bit too crazy another rock armor attempt i believe coming out there and uh ace is a full stop sign to it note the bard's playing around rook rock armor very well even though, you know, that was the speed of Fox Train, you can't um, get a full combo, but, you know, staying alive is better than getting a full combo, I will say. This coffee is good. Oh, Ace Transfer. Smart time to Goldburst there. And uh, gold bursting, of course. It's perfectly success, perfectly safe versus Rook. Because Rook doesn't have any dodges. Special blocks, unfortunately, have no effect. Ooh. Pitches his threes there. Pitches his cues for Wall of Vines. Smart move, because Sesky's only at 20 HP. And Wall of Vines is the dominant attack, unless Nope the Bard has a Q. Which could very well have. Now, regardless, Rook's max damage throw, not including CMB, of course, is 15. So, we know the bar dodges here, perfectly reasonable, because throw won't kill him. I have an Easton land two of those. Wow, the blatant disrespect for Nope the Bard, though. That is really, wow. He, I think Nup the Bar might be able to kill from this. Oh, and a great bluff from Ivan. Gets a second chance at life. You would think that Nup the Bar would go for, try to go for lethal there. He did, after all, grab a double aces. And not to mention Ivan spent the Joker to Golbers. Perhaps, perhaps that was a mistake trying to call out the Joker too, way too hard there. Seems like a good setup for Q attack though. You know. Wow. What a dodge. And now surely you have enough ace to kill? Almost. 27. Actually, that is enough to kill. I totally forgot that Rook was minus 10 HP handicapped. Well played by Nope the Bard. Yeah, at this point, yeah, Ivan just has to concede because he is underneath 10 HP. Well played. Navigated those some scary moments there. Oh yeah, Nope the Bard thought there was more to play. Um... Yeah, very ballsy for attack. Even ballsier um, Joker attempts. I mean, blue burst call out attempts. But you close the game out. Nicely done. This Ivan, yeah, Ivan chooses the penalty.
and note the bard is taking minus 10 HP rook. Interesting choice. I don't know if the bard chooses to go back to his um, main. Obviously, nope, the bard is a rook enthusiast. Would like to play rook whenever possible. So now that he finally gets a choice, I bet he's happy to be on rook even at minus 10 HP. Doesn't care. Well, I've been sticking long and hard about his first turn. Valiant attempt to windmill crush there, but no cigar. Starlet kick is quite a safe opener against Rook. At 2.2 speed, it um, clashes with Jay. Yeah, it clashes with anything except uh, wall vines. So very good speed. Hmm, he's thinking of how to best dump here. Let me see, mate. Oh! That is very unoptimal damage. Very, very unoptimal damage. He could have got way more. <laughs> oh shit, no kidding. Grabs both faces back, fair, just for damage. Yeah, he could have done K, pump 7, pump his other K, 6, A. Right? No, he could have even done, he could have even stuck 2 Ks in that combo. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously many, many better ways to do that. Just that involves, it involves just sticking A at the end of the combo for 17. And he missed that. This is that was pretty pretty bad mistake in my cost in the game. Baits out the J, baits out the Q. He still has wall the vines up. I mean entangling vines. Yeah. So three speed faster normals. Um Sadly, they do not go faster than 1.0. So Sensuki could still just spam aces, spam stuff, get out from knockdown. Yeah. 1.4 is not infallible speed, though. I mean, Rook's fast as normal with... Rook's fastest normal with entangling vines is um, you can play as what is it fast normal? Yeah, you can play as four at four point eight, so it becomes one point eight speed. Ouch! That's a big fat ten. That's twenty four plus normal draw. That's pretty strong. Fully three cards. Yeah, you do not want to get hit by tens at Sensuki. You do not. Stonewall. Maybe he was hoping to catch a ace there. One catches a two. Thirty-four hit points, though. It's kind of relevant. That means if he has a windmill, if he has. I was about to say, if he has Windmill Crusher and um, two throws, he kills that ski. Or Windmill Crusher plus Wall of Vines. That's a big six stack, though. And cleanly undercuts Rook six. How come he didn't. Uh -huh, I wonder why he didn't want to follow up with aces there. He could just combo into AA. Surprisingly, he rock armors. Oh. Thought he would catch a joker, but... Did not, unfortunately. So, nope, the bar basically spent two cards for six damage. Not the best, but... You know, rook, not the, rook at six cards. Yeah, definitely can still do it. Especially when you're landing big fat normals like that. <laughs> Yeah, 
this time he goes in. Oh, man, rook damage is real. Characters with big normals are just absolute beasts sometimes when they land them. Zay 9, Rook 10, Olimaru 10, Troc 8, big normals hurt. And they're probably some of the highest max value stuff to play because... <laughs> yeah, Rook isn't a grappler. His throws only do 10 damage. Interesting, that's, that 4 attack into nothing is very, very curious. Then we're not going to have the grappler. We're not going to have the grappler to date again. Okay, fair enough. That two throw to catch a dodge or a throw attempt. But Ivan just plays the aces. It can get out and dump that way. Suddenly Ivan's back in the game because he has cards replenished and he has, he's got the very powerful speed of Fox mix up. Uh, he's only at 3 HP, so um, any random Rook armor would kill, for sure. Rook can even Rook armor with his 4 and kill him. So, still a tough spot. There are ways to get around that, either by playing Aces, ending with K-Throw, or just plotting. Fair dodge them there just to just to try and get a full combo and avoid rock armor. Ten standoff here. One mistake from Ivan could lead to death. If he has any, yeah, two tens down. It's going to be tough. If he runs to a random wall, he's most likely done unless he has another 10. Random wall kills him. Rock armor kills him. Okay. Cleanly closes out with wall of vines. It would beat his aces. It would, it would be everything except Q. And, you know, tree chip is relevant here. Well played. Ooh, I've been proposing a pretty severe penalty to Rook at minus 15, but nope, the part's staying. Now we got um, 85 HP Rook, that's Jaina health. You see how he fares though, I think it's still, still definitely workable for nope, the bard. Ivan is careful to not impose too harsh penalty, because if he does, then even though the bard might refuse and, you know, place the set he's had a matchup. Rook minus 15 is a pretty good bet. That Nope, the bar would still stay at Rook regardless. Keeps it simple. Plays Q. Have Q play Q. And it works out for him here. Nope, the bard I don't think has blocked turn one yet. No, he hasn't. Has any rook blocked turn one even? I don't recall. Again, another unoptimal combo. He could, you know, link with the four, but um, that's okay. He only missed one damage this time instead of missing a butt load because he didn't tack on AA.
Bellatrix. Grabbing the Q and K is actually very strong here. Because the Q would, you know, beat Wall of Vines. K allows him to dump from any anything really. And uh you don't care about um, throw speeds in this matchup because rook colors can be faster. So a random throw will help you seal the deal. Nice block by Nope. It is possible Ivan, if he got top deck throw, he would play it. Maybe he was too concerned about random wall vibes. Oh, interesting. Just plays the K raw. Seven throw to catch a, like I mentioned earlier, a throw attempt. <laughs> Weird combo. That's a very spaghetti combo, but it is strictly correct. Ah, I guess there are battle tricks. I think he'll just pick Q and K again. Oh, it's seven, yeah, sure. Of course. I totally forgot. That's an interesting card, I would say. It would make for very interesting fast attacks. Oof. Just Nimpo Flash, it just does it. Have Q play Q has been the philosophy for Ivan this, this, this match. And it is working out for him very well. And now Rook, minus 15 HP, Rook is only at um, 28 HP now. Yeah. And he can threaten it again. In this position, it's quite tough for Rook to make a comeback, but he just has to be right quite a few times. He doesn't have any big super stable amount, doesn't have max anarchy. I mean, he does have CMB, but that's the choice. Ballsy, somewhat ballsy throw there, but Rook is knocked down, so that does help influence that decision. Don't tell me he has an R7. Oh no, he doesn't. But then again, you probably don't need it anymore. Rook is only at 9 HP. 9 HP Rook versus 70 HP Stetsky. This is going to be tough. He is within chippable range, especially since, since Stetsky has counters. <laughs> Just grab aces, spam aces. Might be the best way to play the rest of the match. What can you do? If it's a joke here, maybe... Maybe he gets to live. No, unfortunately. Just true at F4 attack. Hoping for something, anything. No dice. A perfect from Ivan. That was... Classic Setsuki, bag of tricks looping. And winning combat and looping again. Well played. So we're down now to. Yeah, the final game of the set. And with minus 10 HP Rook, I'm going to decide which side of the matchup he wants to play. Uh, Ivan goes Rook. So the final, you know, set points, match point of the set. I've been going with 9 HP Rook versus 70 HP Setsuki. Of course, you would be crazy to assign a HP handicap to Setsuki in this matchup. Great start from though. That six attack was pretty ambitious. Opting to. Use these tumblers for knockdown to bring rock armor is pretty smart. 
Setsuki is very evasive. Great block from Ivan. Blocks the cross up attempts. And now, just like that, his hand is at nine cards. Just need one good block. But no, nope, the bard is not letting him block for very much longer. Oh, it must be, yeah, it looks like an awkward hand because of no combo. Power up away some nines for an ace. Now he probably has AA, which does help to dump and for damage. Singular, no, not singular. Double ace power up. Okay, that's fair. Turn something and wake up. If Notabar has a Q, he would absolutely play here, I would, I would feel. Q is just so safe. Ooh, another cross up attempt foiled. This time the nine block. Strictly correct blocks. So the bar does have to be take care now since the power for two aces is not to get randomly checkmate busted like last time. Man, Built the Bar is getting away a bloody murder with these throws. Can he dump off of this though? No, he can't. He can just. He's just forced to contend and keep taking knockdown. Awkward that he hasn't been able to dump his hand yet, but he's winning. He's winning combats. And he has life because Rook's at 67 HP. But we see yet another cross of tent. I like to see Ivan here. I think just wake up wall vines at this point. If he had the Q, he would have played a long time ago. <laughs> but no, the bar was one step ahead. He's like he's basically you know doing the, I know. That you know, I don't have a Q, so you're gonna wake up wall vines here, and I'm just gonna dodge to A. He can't dump, but dodging to 18 is no joke, and defuses wall vines. Yeah, I would have got caught by that dodge too. That was a really good read by Note. That's what makes Yomi so interesting, you know. It's the risk reward, obvious play versus not obvious play kind of deal. That really creates interesting situations like that, like that dodge there. The dodge that wouldn't be able to dump, but avoids 20, makes Rook take 18. I think the hallmark of good Setsuki players, or good Setsuki play in general, is not to always go for the obvious thing all the time. The obvious thing is that Seski can get very predictable and we just want to dump, just want to dump, just want to activate speed of Fox. But um, sometimes you gotta you gotta pull out some weird tricks up your sleeve. Show some weird combat reveals. Okay, that's a, finally a solid hit from Ivan. That throw attempt I don't know if it was probably able to, if he was able to dump, but two two Ks are in discard, but it's possible he could. Just get throw normal J normal. Actually, yeah, very possible he could dump there. Yeah, he did have a J. Good patience from Ivan. Took the knockdown and didn't go in. Nice, refills wall of mines again. At this point, note the bard might enter if top that Q play Q stage because it's very clearly showing that he doesn't have a Q. The whole start is, yeah, the whole um, 36 cards left in deck, no Q. So, first chance he gets getting a Q, he might just play it. There we go. 
Called it. Finally gets a kill. I don't think he's been saving that, so... Just play it. Strictly correct combo. Let's know the bar's last card is a bag of tricks. Yep, I guess it is. QK. Maybe a throw if he wants. QKJ. Interesting. I don't know about that J pickup, but it does make top deck throw very, very strong. And by very, very strong, I mean. Oh, I've been out, out mind games himself. With so many throws in this card, getting a throw from a, from two random top decks is kind of unlikely. And yet, he's still playing to it anyway. Unfortunate. Gets hit by the Nimple Flash. Yeah, Ivan really did play himself there. I would take my chances and just block. If he had, if he got a throw from those two cards, then so be it. I would probably get hit. I mean, I probably wouldn't get hit by a Q. I would just let like hit by a throw if he had it. And he, as you can see from his combo, he did not have a throw. I mean, K throw doesn't count because you wouldn't be able to full combo off of K throw. Oof. Burning his, yeah, burning no, Ivan's resources. It's only 11 HP. And you got each special block is precious. Losing them brings you one. The thing about this matchup is that losing special blocks, especially against uh, Satsuki that's has such a life, a large life lead. Losing special blocks is just, you know, one step closer to your defeats because of her, you know. She can chip you out with aces. She can counter your um, counter your special blocks. If you have less of those, she, she can reach a point where if you have too low HP, she can mono attack, chip you out, kill you. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry and weep. Great block for Ivan, though. If I can amass enough resources, mm, land some wall vines, maybe land a checkmate buster, I could definitely be in this game. We've only ever seen Ivan power up for the same two aces from this card, yeah. Oh, there's the third. Now there's a fourth. Four confirmed. Nope, they were grabbing aces of his own, but it's not going to help him very much against wall vines. Now, nope, the bard has to make make a choice. I think it's a good spot to play a gold burst here if he does have it. He did, and I even blocked. Well, well, well. There's one Joker in this card. Still have to stare down the CMB. Okay, nice. I've been showing restraint, not playing CMB, playing Wall Vine instead. Unfortunately, he doesn't have CMB threatened anymore. But he still has another Wall of Vines. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Scary situation for Nope now. Ivan's two clean wall of vines will kill. CMB will kill. And Nope the Bard is likely not getting Qs. Unless he gets lucky. Top decks a Q to save his ass. I don't know about that stone wall there. Was that stone wall planning to reflect? Mm. 
Yeah, Setsuki doesn't have very much high damage that Stonewall can possibly reflect other than her aces. Might be better just normal block there. Oh my goodness. Baiting out the Q. Setsuki knocked down. I doubt he has the fourth Q. So Setsuki basically forced to block. Or potentially die to CMB. Hmm. Yeah, I've been thinking hard about his combat reveal. I would say just Wall of Vines. If you had the resources to power up for a No! Why would he do that? Oh, Ivan has one HP though. Actually two HP. Why would you J there though? Weird choice. But I guess he didn't expect him to have the third ace. Her yeah, I didn't expect nope to have the third ace. Okay, that's fair. You know what? That's fair actually. And at least the clash did not kill him. I wonder if Nope the Bard. I don't think Nope the Bard is the kind of guy to let himself die to CMB, but I could be wrong. Scary. If Ivan has a Joker, then. Just wall vines and joker to damage. No. Good attempt from Ivan. Well played by Nope. Keeps himself alive. Didn't die to CMB. That's an achievement right there. Not making the choice that would kill him. Yeah, and that's it. And with that, Nope the Bard takes the set 3 2. Very close game at the end, yeah. So this keeper's rook is a quite interesting matchup. I like watching it a lot. Because just because each character has sort of interactions that really, um, really screw the other over, I would say. Rook has the rock armor and 0 0.8 pesky wall lines to annoy Setsuki. Setsuki has her counters, her aces, and stuff too. Annoyed Rook as well. Yeah, really close game. And great matchup to watch. Alright, and with that, um, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, congrats to Nope.